You're a, you're not going to intimidate me, sir. I'm not you're a public servant. You. I'm not you're a public you. servant. What's your badge okay. number, sir? I, it sounds like you're trying to intimidate me. Are you trying to delay the traffic stop? I'm not trying to delay anything. I'm trying to figure out why you pulled my daughter over in Torrance. But I'd like you to just hang out over here. Why? Okay? I can't record? We're trying not to have her focusing on two things at once, right? It becomes like an well, officer safety thing that she's got to divert her attention from them to you. Right. So it's an officer safety thing. I am definitely so sick of hearing that, especially a clown like this one here, that number one, needs to lose that thick mustache, and number two, he's full of crap, he's a liar, and he's extremely petty, which you're gonna see why now in this video, and number three, he looks like one of those that used to get really picked on back in the days in high school. Thanks for tuning back in to the Jay Surreal Camera Channel. So apparently here, the cameraman's daughter gets pulled over, which in my opinion, the reason for the stop is extremely petty and bogus. And you're about to witness it here now in a minute in this video. And what actually caught my attention here to share this and bring it to your attention was the dad that actually did a great job here documenting this interaction and especially putting this clown with that thick mustache on blast because I really did not like his demeanor and the way he just conducts himself towards the cameraman. So make sure after you see this video, go on to the Supercharged Bullies channel and subscribe and show that support. And remember, let them know I sent you. Thank you all for the support and enjoy the video. Is this is recording too? Yeah, right? I know it is. So just hang out right over here. What's your, okay. what's your badge number, sir? Okay, I'll give you 10 in a minute. You go stand sir, over here, please. can I please have your badge number? And I'll I will, be more than I will happy to... gladly give it to you I'm right here. at the conclusion of our traffic stop. Okay. okay. You're not supposed to identify yourself, sir? Okay. Sorry? I don't know who that is, but okay. I'll gladly give you whatever information you need. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why you're pulling her over in Torrance okay. and you're a sheriff. Okay. I'll gladly explain okay. everything to you at the sure, end. Go right ahead. Right? Go right ahead, but you're supposed to identify yourself, sir. Okay. My name is Deputy Gamboa, right? And you'll get all the information that you need yeah. at the end. And what's your badge number, sir? You'll get it at the end. Why okay. can't you give it to me now, sir? Because you're a public else. servant, sir. Okay. You're, a, you're not going to intimidate me, sir. I'm not you're trying a public to intimidate servant. You. I'm not you're a public you. servant. What's your badge okay. number, sir? I, it sounds like you're trying to intimidate me. For I'm something. not trying to intimidate you, sir. Okay. I'm asking you. You are a public servant. You work for us. That is correct. What and is your badge I, number, I will sir? gladly give it to you guys, okay? Why can't you give it to me now? Well, I'm trying to get this stuff done. I'm not trying to delay this traffic stop. Are you trying to delay the traffic stop? I'm not trying to delay anything. I'm trying to figure out why you pulled my daughter over in Torrance. Okay. When you're not from Torrance. Okay. You're a sheriff. You're out of your jurisdiction. Okay. No problem. You know that, sir. It's not you don't issue. know that? No, I know that. You know that. You're yeah. not supposed to be pulling her over, but go ahead. Okay. I want to hear this. Go ahead. Go finish. I thought she was running this stuff. Um, it, so it, the problem is because the license plate. What is the problem with the license plate? Okay. I'll explain everything to you guys in a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to identify yourself. Yep. It's all good. It's not good. It doesn't matter. You, the, From the looks of it to me, and in my opinion, it sounds like this young couple got profiled at a gas station. It's a shame and pathetic how these cops have nothing else better to do than to harass and steal money from a young couple. Good job, Dad, for recording this interaction, which I bet these cops did not expect for that to happen. And who knows what could have happened here if this dad was not recording his daughter's traffic stop and how far these cops could have taken this on escalating the situation and violating the hell out of this young couple's rights. I have to roll down your windows. You ready to talk, sir? I'm not ready to talk, but I'd like you to just hang out over here. Why? Okay? I can't record? You can record. You're welcome to record anytime, okay? Well, then why right. are you stopping me from recording, sir? Because we're doing a traffic stop right now, right? And my partner's trying to talk to my the driver of the car? Yeah, that's what right? I've been trying to figure out, sir. Pardon? She's, I've been trying she's to talking out. to the driver of the car? Right? Lomita. Sheriff. So 
we're trying not to have her focusing on two things at once, right? It becomes like an Why? officer safety thing that she's got to divert her attention from them to you. Why does it become right? an officer safety, sir? Do you feel threatened right now? I'm just have I done know. anything to I'm make just, you feel I'm threatened? I'm just asking you if you can stay off to the side here. You gladly record, record the yeah. whole thing. I was I recording care. it. I was off to the side. Okay, but she's there talking to them, and you're coming around the other side to record her. Okay, and I'm which asking, I have a legal right and, to do. And I'm just asking you to stand off to the side. So, so it's can not you identify your badge number again, sir? Now that you're here, my badge number is right here. Can you show okay. me your badge number? It is right here. You can see it. You okay. can't tell me. You're, you're supposed to identify yourself, okay. sir. No problem. You will get everything that you need <laughs> at the conclusion of this stop. I just don't understand. Why can they just be professional on following a simple policy on properly identifying themselves to the public when we ask? Now, in my book, I call that escalating the situation. Now, let me know in the comment section if you agree with me on that one. Let's keep watching. And what is your name, officer? Pearson. Pearson, what's your badge number, Pearson? Seven four three three. Thank you for identifying yourself, Pearson. Mm -hmm. So why did you guys pull her over in private property? It's private property. Yeah, about. this is in Knowles Lodge. This All is right, private sorry, sorry. property. Yeah. I was talking to the officer. That's all right. I'm here too. I can't speak to her? You can, but I've... So you, you're... <laughs> Let me ask her. She's answering my questions. I don't have a problem with her. She identified herself. Okay. Can I continue to speak with her? Would that be okay with you? Sure. Thank you. So why are you pulling over at Nose Lodge inside a private property? We actually turned on the light on Western. Yeah, but why did you pull her over because inside she here? Pulled in here? So she, from Western, she wouldn't pull over until she got in here? We're allowed to stop people on private property, yeah. sir. Okay. You're allowed to stop people on private property? Yes, we are. Nope, this clown officer is absolutely wrong and I got to call him out on it. Nope, they cannot pull people over on private property. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section and go ahead and drop the law on what law that is as well. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay. So why did you pull her over, uh, ma'am? Reflective coding is damaged. Reflective coding is damaged. It's actually okay. a CPC on the actual ticket itself that you can let go. Okay. So it's a fix the ticket? It's an infraction, okay. And you were able to see this from where now? No, but where were you when you spotted her? Right behind her. Yeah, but location-wise, how far? You said you, you pulled hey, her sir, over here? We, we have other calls and things to handle, okay? Sir. I can answer your questions, okay? Sir, I, we're not gonna We're not going to go through this back and why, forth. Why okay? won't okay, It's not a back what, and forth. I'm simply asking her, why what, are you so hostile? I'm not hostile, okay? I'm asking her a question. Okay. We She's have, answering the question. There, okay. There's not a problem. It's pretty So how far... You, you said you mm -hmm. put the lights on here. Where did you notice that she had uh, damaged, uh, right? Yeah, the damaged plate. What's wrong with yeah. the damaged plate? Right here, as I explained to your wife. You see all this? Uh-huh. Okay, the reflective coating is missing right there, right? So what code is that, that she needs to have reflective coating on the- The code section? Yeah. 5201.1 5201. subsection C. Okay, thank yeah. you. It's on her and, citation too, so that way you guys can see it. And so you noticed that where exactly? In the city of Lomita. So why did you, you said you did it here at the intersection? No, when they got over here, that's where we try to do the traffic stop and we end up right here. What okay. part of Lomita did you see them in? By Lomita and Ebony. Lomita and Ebony. Right so by the you, McDonald's. So Lomita and Ebony and McDonald's, yeah, so you followed them all the way down Western. Well, you gotta understand, it's, it's PM shift traffic right now, right? So when you go on Western right there and you come through Western PCH, you know it just as well as me, okay? I'm sure you traversed through Western right here, okay? I know the area, sir. Okay. That's why I'm so saying if you I was waited right, that long to was, flash your lights if to pull I was, over when you noticed that. If I was right behind her, uh -huh. I could have stopped her right away. I wasn't right behind her. No, you weren't. So that's why I had to navigate through traffic and get back up behind her. Okay. Right? That's how it so works you when saw you got... this from a far distance then. You were able to see that? You, yeah? could, you could see that right there by the McDonald's. Sir, from a short distance. It's very hard to see from a from a short distance. We're at the McDonald's. They were in McDonald's. It's okay. 
That's all right. Yeah. All right. Do you have so any other questions? For I'm, I'm still waiting for you to identify yourself, sir. I told you. My name is Deputy Gamboa. What's your badge number, 7942. Sir? Thank you. Citation she that we already, gave She already did okay. it. I'm not worried all about that, her. All that I'm worried about there. you. Okay. Because you're the one that doesn't want to identify yourself. Okay. I told you. I would identify myself at the end. I did. It's on the citation. She has everything I need. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. You have a great day. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I would have done the exact same thing this father did pressed on these cops, asked the questions he was asking, and you can also tell and see that these cops were not too fond about it. And this is why I think this traffic stop was absolutely ridiculous, and it was a big waste of time and money, and also bogus. You can perfectly read and see the license plate. I don't know folks, you tell me. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section about this one. And remember, don't forget to go over there to this man's channel and click the link down below and give him some support. Subscribe. Remember to let him know Jay Surreal sent you. And with that being said, we will definitely see you on the next video real soon. Have a blessed day.